Hello everyone, welcome to the daily analysis video. So uh, as mentioned yesterday, that is, uh, I mean, uh, still the overall the data points were bullish and uh, you saw that in the morning you had a bull move uh, in both Nifty and Bank Nifty and also looking at our score, our AI money flow. So that also gave a clear cut signal because if you see like our um, uh, Nifty, so Nifty money flow was clearly like bullish. The score was strip strictly increasing and then nifty gave an up move and also similarly for bank nifty as well if you look at here bank nifty was uh, like very giving very very clear signal like if you see here 933 the score jumped to 35 and uh, it moved up so it was a clear cut signal that yeah things are going to go up and the big guys are going long and uh, that that happened but after that the score started decreasing if you, if you, if i like if you look at the score then you see that before uh, 11 a.m. itself the score started decreasing okay and uh, uh, and the most I mean astonishing thing was like let me show you to you so even in nifty also uh, the score started decreasing okay so uh, if you can see here so way before we got the signal that things are going to come down so this is like uh, either uh, the big guys are making short positions or the big guys are uh, unwinding their long position so uh, the, uh, so uh, this AI is designed to catch those and uh, act accordingly and now let me show you the main po important point that is fin nifty this spike after this spike everyone thought that fin nifty is going to go up but this spike was a totally fake one okay and after that you saw what happened so uh, look, just uh, let's look even that uh, spike also came in bank nifty as well 1135 okay so uh, since bank nifty has a high weightage so for fin nifty i just generally look at the bank nifty money flow so for fin nifty i haven't made it because for the cash i don't get the volume so i'll i'll do something about it uh, for the fin nifty money flow in the future but uh, for now uh, i i just uh, mainly look at bank nifty because whatever happens to bank nifty same thing goes for nifty because it it has a very very high weightage now coming down to the main point so 1135 right so 1135 spike so this one the spike came but you see there was no i mean there was no up move in the money flow the money flow was uh, almost there so like uh, the big gap was created and even in nifty also the big gap was created nifty you can see the scores like started almost decreasing from 10 am onwards and uh, big uh, divergence was created and uh, thus uh, the fall came okay so uh yes and also like at the end there was one year that is uh at the end when uh, nifty was falling but the score did not fall uh there was this again divergence which uh, like was a small one but that also got filled up so uh it was this one the big two green candles that shot up okay and after closing the gap again it went down so anyways uh, now coming down to the main uh, major data points so today's uh, if you look at here today's uh, trade so Again, this is the same telegram channel guys. Uh, so every day I show it to you what uh, I told the members and how it went today. So talking about the very first trade, look at the time 11.54 where I bought the big guys were present uh, in Fin Nifty buying puts. So uh, 21,750 and 21,700 bought puts and uh, these went almost like 2x. I closed it almost 2x but ultimately this, these went like more than 3x. So anyways, I'm not taking the credit for that. Whatever I did, I did. Whatever I could, couldn't could capture, there's no regret. But yes, I also mentioned it on Twitter as well. So if you look at uh, Twitter post, uh, I, I, I told you that here. Uh, look at the time. So 12.08. Okay, so 12.08, this is the candle. 12.05 to 12.08. Now don't say that that small red candle, we knew that market was going to fall. So the, that small candle, like th th this was also a very big candle, a red candle, uh, I mean, big, uh, bigger than this one. So uh, just at the right top, we got the perfect reversal and uh, then the fall started uh, coming. So I gave you a major hint, like um, the, uh, I mean, the move was a fake one and how I got to know, I showed it to you uh, with the help of the money flow. And now coming down to the main thing, like, uh, yes, it fell closed it at like I, I got my move I closed it almost 2x and then uh, also the writing position which uh, 21,800 uh, wrote it at 15 so that uh, ends worthless but I closed it at 4.5 okay because these days you get your move and you get out okay you don't wait because anything can happen that 4 rupees can go to 
फोर्टी रुपीज ऑल्सो वाई शुड आई वी इट ओके आई गॉट माई मूव दैट्स इट एंड देन दिस वॉज द सेकेंड वन वेर आई शोड लाइक द टू ग्रीन कैंडल्स एंड इट वेंट अप एंड द गैप क्लोज ओके सो एनी वेज अगेन इफ यू वॉन्ट सच एनालिस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू एक्सेस द मनी फ्लो सो यू कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ द डेरेवेटिव इंडिकेटर ग्रुप वेर यू गेट एक्सेस टू द बिग गाय आई मीन द मनी फ्लो इंडिकेटर्स एंड माई एनालिसिस of the big guys positions and what they are doing uh, and now let's come to the uh, uh, main point that is uh, like uh, here so uh, let's come to the eod data so sorry the eod data is saying that uh, yes also there is another point i forgot that today uh, there is a discount going on so that will end exactly at 1159 if you want to uh take that discount or take that offer so don't forget to take the benefit of it so here are the details and uh, yeah so now let's go to the eod data so eod data is suggesting that uh if i is are going long in the futures heavily long and uh, in the option ba- basically like if you look at here that is uh if i is have like today they have done something very interesting that is they have like made some huge call riding uh, call buying positions and also like they have taken even put buying positions as well so i think they are basically becoming option buyers uh, because if you look at here that is they are mainly call buyers and as well as put buyers okay so market can be very very volatile tomorrow so tomorrow we have both these expiries nifty and bank nifty okay again as you know like i try to catch these big guys and go with them and uh, so uh, i i i get a high accuracy so again if you want to catch you are almost welcome uh, but anyways it's up to you uh, take it or leave it off so anyways uh, now coming down to the prop decks prop decks if you look at here that is they have taken uh, the overall their positions are saying that they are put writers and uh, they are also called writers okay so basically there is some mismatch like uh, the prop decks they have gone like call writing and put writing so they are making straddles but uh, prop uh, but fii's are making like uh, long positions on both the sides so <laughs> there is a clear cut uh, i mean uh, the conflict of interest what do you say so uh, between the two big guys so that's why we have to be far more careful tomorrow and uh, tomorrow is a very very big day okay so let me tell you that because we have both these expiries and anything can blow up on any side because uh, if i have gone long on both the sides not a clear cut uh, uh vision of any side uh, and also uh these prop decks they have like taken uh short on they have gone short on both the sides so uh if you even go to the option chain as well so if you look at here that is uh nifty so last moment some uh, call riders came but overall the data is uh, bullish it's showing bullishness but if you look at it's like the pcr ratio is 1.13 but if you look at here that is the call side oi uh, i mean sorry the put side oi is not looking that great okay but the put, uh, call side oi is looking very very great good okay so uh, this happened the last moment when nifty was falling down so the big guys were shorting the market and uh, talking about bank nifty so again tomorrow we have expiry for bank nifty and nifty so bank nifty if you look at here again uh, the put side won't be looking very uh, good and also the in the money uh, call writers are also closing so again there is a like uh, if you read the option chain it's not giving a very clear signal bank nifty but nifty is giving a clear signal but bank nifty is not so bank nifty is kind of a neutral because uh, in the money call writers are closing on the put side if you don't have like uh, very high oi or something uh, so it's at 48000 mainly and on the call side it's at 49000 so a 1000 points gap between that anything can happen it's like showing some it's giving a message something like that okay so that's the overall analysis and uh, again uh uh like if my analysis are helping you so don't forget to put a like and again if you want to be a member so you can take the benefit of this sale uh, that will again let me say that will be valid till 11 uh, 59 pm uh, today and after that it uh, it won't be valid so yeah uh, again uh, if my analysis are helping you so don't forget to put a like and thanks for watching and keep watching and keep learning and trade safely see you in the next one